Right. Amanda is going to empty my calf at the bag now. Yeah. Uh, about nearly, <coughs> I think nearly 2,000 millilitres in there, which is 2 litres. It's still got the blood in it from last time. Yeah. Nice. Right, Sheba. She's stopping me from moving. Right, Sheba's. Yeah. Very tired. Yeah. We all are, aren't we? Very, very tired. There's a lot of stuff I like to say, but. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. You want to take that twist out of that, Amanda? Empty this first. And Amanda's just about to start draining the cat at the bag. Really? Now. It sounds like a rainfall. Mm, two nearly two litres in there. <coughs> two litres. It's an awful lot. Yeah. Scared about sleeping tonight. I'm talking to the camera, Amanda. You what? I said oh. I'm talking to the camera. Oh, right, so you can hear this in the background. Yes, you can, you can hear it in the background. Amanda's taking the piss. Yeah, I am. And I'm finding it. Like I said, I'm going to be dreading going to sleep tonight. Very cold and wet outside. It's not too bad inside, but <coughs> put the stethoscope on again. I can't hear anything. Did you say that you were still hungry? Yeah. For a pot noodle. Shall we? What do you want to run your pasties? What pasties are they? Well, you got some mince ones, didn't you? For a pot noodle. For a pot noodle, you. Yeah. Not supposed to eat a pot noodle with having corons. Right there. There you go, two litres. Amanda's took the piss. Amanda's took the piss. There's two litres just gone down the down the toilet. I'm going to get Amanda to check the bank account and see how much is in. Touch your belly ache. Sometimes I wish I could uh, live without the crones. Live without it. Cow the bag is now empty. I'm very, very tired, sick of coughing, <laughs> just like that, <laughs> sorry about that, picking my nose, shouldn't pick my nose on video, <laughs> I won't be long,
if there is anybody out there who can help me, physiotherapy wise, it will be greatly appreciated. I know I want to get up and I want to get out and I want my life back. This Crohn's thing, uh, I've been on with it for years. Amanda was, Amanda was right. She, she was right, she was, honestly, she was right. I've been suffering from stomach cramps and all this lot for years and years and years and all I've been doing is taking pills and portions. to try to sort it and even the doctor giving me stuff to sort it thinking it was constipation or just diarrhea but I didn't realise it was Crohn's disease I know and everything's changed now and I, I've, I've I stopped eating and I made myself Look, if anybody can help me, please do so. I need the encouragement. I need the positive the encouragement. And I need somebody to come and help me. Amanda has... A lot on the plate at the minute with me. She has the carers to help, but the the hours that the 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 being given are not the hours that works for us. I'm sick of wittering on about this. Hello, Shabes. Make sure Shabes gets a blanket on the wall on the floor tonight. Look, anyway, I'm going to go. I'm only going to keep this short. Anybody can help me. Please, please, please get in touch with me. If it's not for the funding for the bariatric bed, please, for the exercise and the physiotherapy. Also, any advice about Crohn's colitis? Um and diet and whatever would be very helpful thank you very much